Prosecutors say a new state law could make it easier for survivors of rape to get justice. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us how a new definition of the crime is simplifying the process. Prosecutors say for years, Indiana's definition of rape has caused confusion for jurors and challenges toward getting justice. Was it an impediment to filing? No. Was it an impediment to a conviction? Yeah, I've had that. Scott Spears helps prosecute rape cases in Shelby County. He says the state's new definition of rape makes it easier to convict perpetrators who didn't use force. Where do we find this a lot is where intimate partners, one of the partners takes it too far. Starting Friday, rape in Indiana will also include situations when the person disregarded the other person's attempts to physically, verbally, or by other visible conduct refuse the person's acts. The state ha shouldn't have to show that there was a struggle, a fight, a screaming victim, because that's just, that's not the reality of how people always react in those situations. Spears' colleague Brandon Robinson believes the change to state law will ultimately lead to more convictions. All we have to show is that the victim um, uh, physically, uh, verbally, or by any other means, um, tried to get the attacker to stop. No means no. It's a really important step. It, it is not the only step. Beth White runs the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking. She says she wants to see lawmakers explicitly define consent under the statute in the future. Still, she feels the change will make an impact. The more perpetrators that are held accountable, I believe more survivors will come forward. And I think they'll come forward to regain the power and control that's taken from them in the context of a sexual assault. From the Indiana State House, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. The law would only apply to incidents that happen on or after July 1st. It cannot be used to prosecute crimes that occurred before that time.